Okay, everybody, here we go. I'm going to show you guys how to fold your tarp the correct way. See, got ourselves a tarp. All right, doesn't matter if you got a six footer, four footer, eight footer, hell, it really doesn't matter. But today, I'm going to show you guys what I found to be the fastest way to do it. We're going to take a tarp, spread it out. You know, got my lovely camera operator with me. Uh, see, we're going to grab the corner and. Eh. All right, there we go. Straightened up. See? About as straight as it can be. All right. So, like I said, it doesn't matter if you got a big tarp, small tarp, doesn't matter. You can fold them all this way and it works. Now, you guys with flaps are going to understand this. You know, some of y'all that don't, you guys can skip this step. But we're going to take the flap, we're going to fold it in just like this. Straighten it up a little bit. All right, see? Got our flap in. Now, for you guys that don't have flaps, this will just be the end that you guys normally use for the end of the product. Now, here's the most important part of this whole thing. We're going to fold it like a paper airplane. All right, you're wondering, what are you talking about? We're going to fold it in. Now watch this. I grab a corner, and I walk it in at an angle. Right? Set it down. Dead center. Dead center now. That It has to be center. I grab the other side, walk it back, do the same thing. All right? So when you look at it, it looks like a paper airplane. Right? There's the point. You kind of stomp that down a little bit, straighten it out. And we're going to walk it all the way to the other side. And it's going to shorten the length of your tarp completely. So there's no more walking back and forth. And screw that noise. All right, so we're going to grab this point, walk it back this way, and do 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 And boom, see? There we go. We just shorten the length of our tarp. All right, so no more having to walk the whatever it is, 20 some odd foot, 24 foot, whatever it is, right? See, and because it's all the weight's down there in one corner, when you grab that corner, you gotta fold it into the center. Most of the time, the top will try to follow. See how my tarp did? See, and it's just a short little walk. Just straighten it out a little bit, no big deal. You know, take kink out of it. Now, I fold my tarps like this all the time, so my tarps are kind of trained, if you will, to be this. You can see the lines in it where I fold it and uh straighten this out right here and i promise you this right here saves so much time and space it's gotten me down to tarping in about 15 20 minutes all right now you can't hear what i'm saying in the video because audio was shot but right here we're going to fold to the center and we're going to fold to the center again now that's only two times it's twice we fold to the center all right now this next part super important all right, super important. Now we've already folded it. Oh, sorry about that. That's my gut. We've already folded it to the center twice. Now we are not going to fold it all the way over. All right, we're only going to bring it to about there. All right, so we're only going to bring it over about quarter or half. Seeing how how the tarp just folds itself over. And watch, bam, just like that. Real easy. You can walk it out, get the air out of it if you want. You know, straighten that edge up. It's not hard. Now you take that and you could set it dead center of your load, roll it back, flip it off the sides. It'll be dead center. So there's no more fighting it to go either side. You don't have to drag one side to the other to try to, you know, driver to passenger side to square it up. It'll, it'll be even. Now I'm going to have to roll this up and I put this in my box. Now when I, I roll both of my six footers up, like I'm doing right now, there's plenty of room in that box for other stuff. See, so we're going to sit on it. Bam, that's the easiest way to fold the tarp and roll it. 